I've got a different kind of project today, guys. Um, kind of just playing around here, but you might find this interesting. Um, I've always been fascinated with pine sap, and uh, ever since I was a little kid, uh, you know, that sticky, gooey stuff that came out of trees, it was just, I don't know, it always fascinated me. So, when I was at this office building uh, for work uh, earlier this, this summer, there, I parked in front of this, this pine tree that was just oozing sap, and uh, I spent my, spent my lunch break out there collecting it from the tree in the middle of this uh, office building parking lot and you know people in suits and dresses walking by probably look you know looking at me like I'm crazy or something and maybe I am I'm sure this says something about me when I was rinsing out these cans to put in the recycling I just happened to notice that they they kind of fit inside each other almost like perfectly so I kept them around because when things look neat they probably have a good use and so in this case, uh, I'm going to use it as a double boiler, disposable double boiler, um, because this is going to get messy. And uh, so I'm glad I hung on to it. So let me put a little water in here. So really, first I'm just going to see if I can purify this stuff. And I just want to heat it up till it's flowing and see if I can get it to go through some screen here to get all the the rough bits out and um, I just want to see how pure you know or filtered I can I can get this stuff um, and then I'm gonna play around with maybe trying to distill it and um, not sure how that's gonna work but I'm kinda making this up as I go so let's see so actually this this will have some uses for, for me if I can um, kinda render this down Probably one of the more useful things I can get from this is um, turpentine, which is like a mixture of terpenes, or these, these chemicals that um, are in pine sap and other resins from trees. So uh, it'd be neat to see if I can, I, and I haven't seen anyone do this before, which is why I want to try it. Um, once I get this into this can, I want to try distilling it and seeing if I can capture some of the volatile stuff in here. And then, of course, another uh, use for pine sap is when you boil off all the volatile stuff. Um, and from what I've read, you have to heat it up to like 300 degrees or something. It seems high to me, but anyway, it turns into um, rosin. Basically, it's, you know, this, the stuff that um, uh, string players use on, on their bows, you know, rosin up your bow. I'm going to try, I got some um, coarser hardware cloth, I think even just on the first pour, I don't know if it cooled off or clogged up, but it's not going through the screens so well, so uh, maybe it cooled off, I might have to use the heat gun, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> get it on the hot plate. That would be disastrous. <laughs> oh. um, yes, this isn't working very well. It's just really viscous and um, So another really interesting thing is, um, you've heard of rosin core solder? That's what this is. It's rosin from um, uh, pine trees. 
and um, so I could actually use this as, as flux for, for soldering, which would be neat to try out. If you're a uh, prepper or survivalist and um, brought your soldering iron but you ran out of flux and uh, you're living off the grid and around a bunch of pine trees, there you go. I don't want to use this heat gun too much because I can actually see uh, some boiling happening on the surface there. So I want to capture those volatiles. This is the last bit of it and it's just not melting very well. I think it's kind of old. Um, I'm just trying the heat gun as a last resort here. Oh yeah, this is totally going to work. <laughs> you can see I spilled some on my table. That was inevitable. Um, and I'm using this metal can that my watch came in actually, and uh, some plumbing fittings to kind of fashion a, a still. Well this worked for Survivor Man in that episode I saw where he distilled uh, seawater. So. I think it'll probably work here. Probably should have done this outside. But uh, it's okay, I've got a strong fan behind me now. Wow, so look, so uh, it's actually working. I don't know what's coming over, but um, it could just be water, I don't know. Oh, but it's working. Okay, it was working really well, but now it's on fire. Yeah, so, um, I think maybe something leaked. Yeah, so you can see where it started burning up, and I think that some something got out of here and dripped on the hot plate. Um, and it took a really long time to cool down to, to the touch. All right, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but um, I got 50 milliliters of, of distillate that came over, and um, it's got a very strong odor, not not particularly like pine, um, kind of like a funky odor actually. Um, and while this is still warm, I want to take this apart and see how gooey uh, this is and see if, it'll, if I can filter it one last time. Whoa, okay, so this actually has a really strong pine odor. Wow, it's kind of... Um, Fuming a little bit. That's weird. Okay. All right. That's fine. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Oh wow, okay, that's very liquidy, much more than I thought. I think I might be able to filter this through some cheesecloth even. So let me go get some. Of course I couldn't find the cheesecloth. So um, let's see if it'll go through a single layer of paper towel.
Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do this outside because there's a lot of fumes. Wow, this is really interesting stuff. Um, oh, it's very thick. I have to get it very hot um, to, to squeeze it through this paper towel. I gotta say, this is way cooler than I thought it would be. So, um, believe it or not, this is what we're left left with here. Um, this like crunchy amber-colored, kind of the consistency of hard candy, and it's a little sticky too. So, um, this is what I guess you'd call the rosin. And then um, this is what we distilled off. This uh, about 50 milliliters of this um, really strong-smelling fluid, you know, turpentine or whatever. So um, I'll have to think of some things that I want to try to use this for. It's uh, pretty cool stuff. I don't know if you can see it. I should take this outside so you can see just the gorgeous color. That's cool. It's like a deep reddish amber color. Well, there we go. Uh, if you ever wanted to know what pine sap was made out of, um, got your turpentines here and uh, rosin here. That is cool.